not according to my nature, but according to the previous instructions of my collected consciousness. I could not attain the state of remembering myself even sufficiently to hinder the associations flowing in me automatically from certain undesirable hereditary uh, factors of my nature. As soon as the accumulation of energy which enabled me to be in an active state was exhausted, at once associations of both thoughts and feelings began to flow in the direction of objects diametrically opposite to the ideals of my consciousness. When I found myself in a state of complete dissatisfaction with food and sex, the leading factor of these associations of mine appeared to be primarily vindictiveness. And in a state of full satisfaction, full, they proceeded on a theme of, you know, looking forward uh, to the forthcoming uh, pleasure of a meal and sex, or the gratification of self-love, vanity, pride, jealousy, conceit, flattery, self-flattery, all, all, all weaknesses like that, and other passions. I, try, I, thought, I thought deeply myself and tried to find out from others about the reasons for such a terrible situation within my inner world but could not clarify anything at all. From one side, it is clear that it is necessary to remember myself during the process of ordinary life. Also, and from the other side, that there is a necessity for the presence of attentiveness which is able to merge in case of contact with others. You know, um, Gurdjieff wrote it, I mean, explained it in another way, in, which can be found in, in, in Search of the Miraculous. That, uh, by way of uh, role play, be, be the real actor with the personality, a man can be expressive by way of personality, at the same time, be quiet, be silent. He can appear to be, be you know, outgoing. And Gurdjieff demonstrated this, also written in Search of the Miraculous, the accounts and observations written by Aspensky about Gurdjieff, was that uh, he, he would do a lot of acting at dinner parties and so on, and put on a lot of show with the personality, but all the time he's watching everyone, everything. You know, could you have had an, uh, a sense about this, that you can be loud and expressive with the personality, yet at the same time be a very quiet person. And for that, of course, uh, self-remembering, all of that is in connection with self-remembering. Though in my past life I had tried everything, even had worn reminding factors of all kinds in my person, nothing helped. Perhaps these did, these, they did help a little while I carried them on me, but if so, it was only at the beginning, or maybe I, I can, or maybe I have done this before, written on a sheet of paper in front of me, I wish to remember myself. But still, that, that is not enough, because once you look away from the paper, then you're back to where you were. As soon as, so as, soon as I stopped carrying the, these reminding factors, or writing them down, uh, writing down, I wish to remember myself on a piece of paper. Uh, in, a, in a moment, I, 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 it was as if before. Uh, I, I was, in, I'm, was in the same position as before, unable to remember myself. There is no way out whatsoever. 
However, there is, there is one exit only. To have outside myself, so to say, a never sleeping regulating factor. Namely, a factor which would remind me always in my every common state to remember myself. But what is this? Can it be really so? A new thought! Why hitherto could there not have come to my head such a simple thought? Did I have to suffer and despair so much in order only now to think of such a possibility? And what a great thing Gurdjieff is doing for, for us. For us.